Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome to Facebook Friday. I am um, really trying to set a goal to do these every Friday. If you're watching in the replay, thank you so much. If you can't make it live, that's okay. I never can remember live um, uh, Facebook Lives either. So that's the great thing about Facebook Lives that we can record it. And then it's it's good. We have it for all time. So this week... Um, we're going to do three projects using this cute little set that's in the um, holiday catalog. It is very inexpensive, $17. That's one of the cheapest things that we have, uh, or cheapest stamp sets that we have, $17. So it's a good one. Um, and there's a lot of stamps, 32. Um, so the projects, I had some suggestions um, last time that you were looking for gift card holders. So we're going to make two different gift card holders and a card all using this stamp set. Um, if you remember from last time, if you've watched last time, I have project sheets for both. They are over on my blog. They should have gone um, up as soon as I started this. I try to time it correctly. So there will be a link there where you can click and download these. And as always, if you would like to put in an order um, between now and Monday night, um, if you'll use the hostess code that's here on the paper and right here, I'll send you all three make and take kits for free. So also with that in mind, Monday begins our holiday extravaganza, Stamping Up's holiday extravaganza, basically their big Black Friday 10 day event. Um, there will be special promotions just on Monday, and then there will be promotions that go all week, and then there will be special promotions for the very last day. So if you wanna wait and put your order in on Monday and take advantage of some of those things, make sure you use this hostess code and I'll send you these for free. And if your order hits $50, you also get the November tutorial bundle as well. Okay, uh, let's see. I have some giveaways. You guys are super excited about this trash can and the bag. I had more people enter this giveaway than ever. So noted, I will be ordering some more trash cans and I actually have some other bags. So stay tuned for that. So the winner of the pop-up trash can, are you ready? Robin Bass, Robin Bass. Robin, I'll be emailing you for your... Um, your mailing address. Congratulations. I this who knew a trash can would be so popular. Okay, and the second giveaway was this cute little bag I got it on stage. You guys remember? My on stage bag and the winner is Wendy Carr. Wendy, I'll be emailing you. I don't, I might have your your address already, but anyway, I'll be emailing both of you. Congratulations. Um thanks everybody for entering. That is so fun for me when I go over and see um, how many people have entered. So this week, I am giving away two packs of homemade cards, handmade by moi. Um, so go over, enter the raffle copter, and um, I'll send you these for free if you're the winner. Two different winners. Um, it, you have to be in the United States to enter. So please, um, only enter if you're in the United States. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Uh, let's see if I can get... Organized. I was very organized, but now I realize my first project is really far away. That's weird. Why would I do that? Okay, we're going to put it right here. I have them all organized on trays so that they'll all be together, but inevitably I still get all disorganized. Okay, the first thing that we're going to make is this cute little card. Hold on, let me pull the bow out. And Anne Marie, I think you're watching. Anne Marie helped me make a, about a billion of these tags this week for my retreat. And I'm going to show you the retreat project. So if you're going to be at my retreat this weekend or you're getting it to go and you want to be surprised, make sure you look away. Okay, ready? That was a spoiler alert. Here is what Amory and I did. We put these together. These cute little coffee mugs are from Walmart, surprisingly. Aren't they adorable? And they came in a pack of like five or six. Um, and they were they, they were at like less than a dollar each. And I think it was it's important to have a lid on your drink when you are crafting. How many of you have spilt something while you're crafting? Um, so I'm giving everybody one of these. And this tag, I loved it so much that I thought, okay, we're doing a card with that tag. Okay, so the card is kind of a, I don't know, fancy fold, if you would call it a fancy fold. See how it opens up and that's actually on the inside? It's really cute. 
All right, so we're gonna start with this. Again, we're using this Hug A Mug stamp set. And if you look at the stamps, there are so many possibilities. You can make coffee, you can make hot chocolate, you can make tea, you can make soup. It could have a spoon, it could have marshmallows, it could have steam. I mean, <laughs> I was like really overwhelmed when I got started because I wanted to use all of it. It's all so, so cute. But we're for this one, we're gonna make kind of like a, I don't know, maybe a cappuccino, okay? All right, so we're gonna use early espresso um, whisper white, and I'm just gonna stamp that cut right there. And then we're going to use, see this, you can color it in, which we're gonna do in a minute, but it also, see these, it comes with like the filler, the color fill, which is great when you're trying to do something quickly. All right, we're gonna use soft suede here. I used a bunch of different combinations of ink, so I don't know if I'm doing exactly what I did last time. I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm gonna stamp it off. See how dark that is? So for my little cappuccino, I wanted it to be lighter. All right, there it is. Now see, it has that little border around it. It's supposed to look like that. It doesn't fit. That's just the way it looks, okay? So don't freak out if, you're, if your coffee doesn't fit in the cup. It, it's designed like that, kind of like a little messy drawing. All right, we're gonna do the whipped cream in crumb cake. And let's see, ooh, the little candy cane. So this must be a peppermint latte. That's what it is. Do it over like that. Okay, and that's it. Let me close these ink pads so we don't have some kind of disaster. Get all of those out of the way. And we're gonna punch it out with a two inch circle punch. And I'm gonna kind of offset it a little bit. Oh man, you guys, UPS is pulling up. But I did lock the dogs up, but they will hear him. I know they will hear him and they will start barking. Okay, two inch circle. Um, now we're gonna layer this up a bunch. And I already did a bunch of this for you guys so that you didn't have to watch me use the big shot. All right, so here is a real red circle. It is about two and five eighths. We're gonna use some dimensionals. Yes, Mr. Brown, Mr. UPS knows me. He brings me stamping up almost every day. Um, that's the stitch shaped crumb cake. Not that I order it every day, but I do have things coming all the time. Well. I don't know, maybe I do order almost every day for classes and stuff. All right, here's early espresso, and this is the sunburst punch. I love this punch. A sunburst is fun to use. You guys, I'm not even looking at your comments because you know I'm gonna get distracted, but thank you for everybody who's here. I am so glad you're here. All right, lots of layers. That's kind of my thing. I love lots and lots and lots of layers. I have a hard time when I have to make a simple card with not a lot of layers. It's actually harder for me. All right, a gold foil heart cut with one of our tiny um, sweet and sassy framelits. And I get a lot of questions about this. I'm gonna use silver foil in a minute. This is paper that we carry. We have gold foil, sil silver foil, copper foil, um, what else, champagne foil. It's in the catalog it's, and it's good. You need it, so good. All right, so now I've already cut a little banner, real red over here. And I'm going to, the dogs did not hear him, I can't believe it. They didn't go crazy. When I started talking though a minute ago, they started barking, they thought I was somebody else. You warm my heart. I love the sentiments in this saying. Sometimes I like the, the art, the images, but I don't like the sentiments. But this one, I love all, I love both. All right, there we go. Now let's do jute twine. If you haven't bought the jute twine yet, you really should. It's a very thick, uh, twine and you can pull it apart too and get three strands out of it if you want it thinner but it um, is a, it lasts forever how many yards are on here 15 yards that is a ton and for somebody who uses a lot of twine believe me it's lasted me a long time especially if you separate it make it thinner all right a glue dot right there okay now oh you know what okay good I did bring it we are gonna have to big shot all right, let me get all these guys out of the way. I have just a regular real red card base and I'm gonna cut a circle about right there, kind of over in the, the bottom left side with my Big Shot. And it's gonna create a window where this guy can go peek in and out of. Yes, I have new platform, what do you call them, clear plates 
I've only used them once. Aren't they beautiful when they're new? Crystal clear. All right, so this is um, a circle that's larger than the circle we used over there because you want it to be able to fit in and out. And if um, my friend Sue is watching, Sue, I'm putting my framelits on my framelit holder that you made for me. Thank you. I just love it. All right, so you can see how that's gonna fit right in there. Now before we do that, let's stamp some cute little hearts in real red. And I just kind of wanted them to sprinkle diagonally from the top to the bottom. That one's gonna be kind of offset like that. Let's do one more right here, like that. Okay. Now we're going to put a piece of Whisper White inside because you wouldn't be able to see that circle very well if we didn't. And look what I did. I used this, you guys. I used the wrong one, but you know what? It's going to work. See, I had this set aside for my two-inch circle, but it's going to work. Watch. I knew I was going to do that, too. I thought, I thought about that. All right, so... We're going to put this, we're going to glue it right there. So look, you know what? Maybe I should have said I did that on purpose because you're saving paper, right? Okay, so let's close it and put some glue dot, no, some dimensionals right there. What's my frame kit holder? Oh, I'll show you in a minute. My friend Sue made it for me and gave it to me at on stage and it almost made me cry. That's how much I was so excited about it. I'll show you in a second. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is put these perfect white accents. That's what they're called, perfect white accents. Just a few to sprinkle across. And that's it, how cute is he? It's so cute. And you know, I was thinking you could, I was thinking this set lends itself really well to Starbucks gift cards. Um, so you could like put your Starbucks gift card like right there and put some washi on it. Because you couldn't necessarily, well I guess you could see it a little bit. I don't know, but that would be kind of cute. That could hold a gift card too. Okay, project number one is done. Let's move, I'm gonna need to keep some of these stamps here because I'm gonna be using them. Let's see. All right, see how I have a fancy tray? I'm very organized. At least I try to be. It's a thought that counts, right? All right, so who, who asked a minute ago? Here is my fancy framelit holder. It's very fancy. Sue made it, and it is one of these acrylic um you know like a like a picture frame when i was a teenager this is what i had all over my room with all my pictures um they're you know this is like a cheapy you can get it at the store or whatever um but she then took magnetic sheet and put it down the center and made it super fancy so now because i'm always losing my framelits while i'm doing this so now i can just throw them on here and then when i'm done they'll all be here and not get lost in the shuffle because i do lose framelits all the time all the time Okay, so now the second project is a gift card holder. And this is not a new design, nor is it my own design. This is something I actually believe that the um, tutorial came from Split Coast and before that, who knows. But this is it a little double pocket. It'll hold a gift card and then a little note. All right, so we're going to use the um, Merry Music. Let me get all my stuff close so I don't have to keep reaching. We're going to use the Merry Music Designer Series paper. And I think I told you guys that the Merry Music DSP is, um, it, they call it specialty paper because it's not the normal weight. And it's actually thin. It's like, almost feels like, like a, a book page, right? Um, so when you're scoring it, you have to be careful, okay? So eight and a half by 11, you're cutting it to eight and a half by 11. And we're just gonna carefully, don't push hard, carefully score it in the middle. So on the eight and a half inch side, we're scoring it at four and a fourth. And on the 11 inch side, I scored it at five and a half. And you could, if you're good at folding, you could even just fold it. 
And the paper, I used this paper because I don't know how to use the paper that has all the music all over it like that. So I thought it would be great with this, but then I noticed it's upside down here. <laughs> So, I don't know, be careful when you start folding and see how you want to do it. Um, it also has, has these, these cute words. Looks like maybe, did I, yeah, no, it's the same paper. Um, this package of designer series paper has several different patterns, um, and they would all be perfect. And this is a good pack of paper to, to use for that because it's, there's a lot of paper in it. All right, I got my bone folder this week, and you want to... Fold on those score lines, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again, and get them nice and crisp, okay? All right, let me see. Okay, now, are you ready? All right, we're gonna cut this score line right here to that score line. I have to think about what I'm doing. It's not hard, but I just have to think about it. Okay, like that. So that, see how we split that? Now we're going to take this corner and we're going to fold it, but we want it to only go to an inch and a half. So I'm going to take my ruler, my score line is right here, and line up my ruler and fold that so that it's just at an inch and a half. Okay? Now this one folds over like that. And I'm actually going to put a little bit a fast fused so that it'll stay closed just a little and we need to remember that we're putting some things in these pockets so leave a lot of room there all right so there is that now we're going to take this one the bottom and we're actually going to fold it this time all the way to the the um, score line okay fold it all the way to the score line then we're going to fold this one back and fold it over too just like that, okay? And then it folds up like that, and there you have those little, those little things. So cute. Before I fold this one up, I'm gonna add in these scallops. I cut two scallops. Um, these are the seasonal layer scallop edges, and I liked, I just wanted a little something to kind of separate those sections. So I'm gonna put some fast fuse on here. I did it in crumb cake. And I'm just gonna line it up so it's even. I wanted to make sure it's even here because sometimes when I cut it, see, it's kind of wonky. Um, but as long as you have it even with the paper, you'll be all right. Because nobody's gonna see the inside. All right, so there's that. The seasonal layers, um, framelits, I think I use those every time we do Facebook Friday. And they weren't something that stood out to me originally they're in the annual catalog look the, the music sideways now but that one's upside down I guess they won't care because they'll be getting a gift card right anyway it has some great framelits like that um for all the seasons I mean hence the name so I I highly recommend that you have those those framelits I you I have used them so much since they came out all right now we're gonna put this one here. I had to pull that adhesive out a little bit right there because it had gone too far. All right, let's cut off those edges. Has anybody ever made this, um, this kind of, I guess it's not necessarily a gift card holder, but it's like a double pocket. Um, it's, it's an oldie but goodie. All right, put a little bit of adhesive so it's all stuck down. Just a little fast fuse there we go okay cute all right now I have some real red and I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna fold it over actually you know what I'm gonna just put a little adhesive because I don't need it to move all right now I'm gonna fold it like that and adhere it to itself it looks like a belly band, but we want it to stay in place. Okay, so that's that. Now let's do some stamping. This one, I decided to use marshmallows and I added the steam, but then I thought the steam just made it look like soup. So maybe we should leave the steam off or leave the marshmallows off. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't know. Okay, let's do the shelf in soft suede. And I'm going to do it right, oops, nope, it goes like this, 
right at the bottom like that. And then I'm gonna take my blender pen and your blender will actually pull the colors from the, the stamp. See how it doesn't even have anything on it, but it's pulling that, that stamped ink in, down into the center. But I'm gonna add in some here on the sides too. So color it in however you want it. I wanted it a little bit darker on the edges, going a little bit lighter into the center. This is a blender pen and I, I'm thinking I might have left this off the supply list. So in case you're wondering, it's called a blender pen. Okay, so there's that. Close that up and I just got ink all over my finger. All right, this time we're using this fatter cup. Looks like that and early espresso. I'm going to do it over to the left so that I can stamp my sentiment there. And then early espresso, and I don't think I stamped it off this time. There we go. Maybe I did. It looks a little bit darker. All right, marshmallows. I'm going to stick with the marshmallows. I'm going to use crumb cake for those. I know marshmallows are not crumb cake colored, right? But let's see. Do I have that one? Oh yeah, here they are. But um, you gotta you gotta stamp them in something. What does that look like? Yeah, okay. Just like that. And then the sentiment in real red. And I really like the font of this sentiment. We've had sentiments with this font before, and I love this. Sending warm thoughts. There we go. So this is a gift card holder. And I only had a Target gift card, so that's what I put in it. But I think a Starbucks gift card would be better. So I'm going to adhere it. Oh, and I used um, I used Shimmer White because I did a little bit of blender pen work here. But I think you'd be okay with just Whisper White. All right, let's see. You know, I just noticed I can see comments on my phone. Um... Oh, you think I should add the candy cane, Lisa? Yeah, that probably would be cute. Um, but then on my iPad, I have my iPad open. I don't see those comments. Oh, that's weird. Where is my candy cane? Did I get rid of it already? Here we go. <clears throat> Let's see the candy cane. I like that idea. There was a spoon, too, and I liked the spoon. Let's see. So I feel like it needs a little something else. There, that's cute. Good idea. All right, so a little bit two dimensionals and we're gonna have it kind of offset coming off like that. All right, so now we need to make the tags that go inside of it. And I'm gonna show you what I did to make these tags. I needed them tall and a little bit fatter than the tag punch would make them. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna use this label. This is um, one of the lots of labels. I believe it's the second size down. And I'm going to stick this in here in between and just, it's just going to cut this part. I think you guys might have seen me do this before and it, you have to like really think about what you're doing or you'll mess up. So let me really focus on this. And I'm going to do both of them at the same time. When you are using a frame line, you only want to use a little bit of it. You're only, you can do two things. You can just run it through part ways and then back up. Or you can take your clear plate and just put it over to the to the point where you want to stop. So I want it to stop there. So let me make sure it's not crooked. Hold on. So I'm just going to do that. And let's see, did it work? It did, but it didn't go all the way. Let's see, I can finish that off with my scissors though. Uh oh, the dogs are like, let us out. We need to take a nap on the couch. My dogs have gotten really bad lately. They used to be so good, and now they're very naughty. Ugh. It's not a kid, it's a pet. All right, so there's our two tags. And I use, this is my favorite ribbon in the whole wide world. And you can fold it and staple it, but I don't like that. So then I did like this. I folded it, kind of pinched it in the middle and did that, or you can just cut two pieces 
and staple them on, you know, like crossing over. Have you guys used this ribbon? It is my favorite. And I actually ran out this week and had to quickly get some more for my retreat this weekend. Here we go. All right, now I'm gonna cover up the staple with a couple of bows, brand new twine. And when I have to tie a bunch of bows, I just do it like this. I just keep the line going. Do you guys do that? I, when I mass produce, I, I do 10 at a time and then I cut. So I just keep tying and tying and tying. Okay, so there we've got two bows. We're gonna use glue dots. One here, one here. And I'm just gonna pull it off with my finger and put it there. Now, I mentioned that you wanna tape on your gift card. See how I use washi tape just to tape it on? But then I feel like the back guy, the little um, the little tag in the back needs, you know, like maybe some marshmallows and a candy cane or something, you know, like, I don't know, like a little pile of marshmallows down there at the bottom. Just a little something. Okay, and that's it. Not too difficult if you needed to make a bunch. There you have it. Super cute. I hope you guys like that. All right, now if you happen to order, if you put your order in by Monday night, um, you have to use the host's code, you guys. You have to use the host's code. That's the only way I know. And as long as you get it in by the time I wake up Tuesday morning, then you're good. Because I will get up Tuesday morning and I will make all the kits. But um, if you do that and you get the make and take kit from me, your Merry Music paper will be any of the sheets from that pack. Um, whatever, I, I can't do a whole bunch of all the same sheet. It'll just be all, everybody will get a different sheet. So just know that. All right, last but not least is a little gift card holder. This started out as a, um, one of these. Remember when I did those coffee treats in the summer and they were from our local grocery store and everybody was going crazy like, oh, I can't find them, we don't have those here. Um, well, someone, I don't even remember who found these and um, was like, these are exactly the same size. So they have them at Walmart over in my Walmart. They're by the um, self checkout line and they come in a box that looks like this and they're called coffee thins. So I was going to do something with a set like this, but then I was like, you know what would be even better is a gift card stuck in there with it, right? A Starbucks gift card. All right. So that's what we're going to make. So here is that lots of labels again. And I have cut two of the very largest size from Real Red. And I'm gonna take Real Red ink and the little Enjoy sentiment. And I'm just gonna kind of go all over the front. It doesn't have to be perfectly in a pattern, but I kind of try to you know, spread them out evenly. Some of them are hanging off. Some of them are, you know, in the middle. Whatever, just go all over it like that, okay? Um, and I realized I don't have uh, my, I used tear and tape on this because I wanted it really skinny, but that's okay. We'll go, we'll just do, we'll be very careful and do a really thin line of fast fuse. Um, I like the tear and tape because it's so, it's, well, I guess it's not that much skinnier, but it is skinnier than the fast fuse. And I wanted to leave lots of room in there for my chocolate and my gift card. All right, so just make a little sandwich like that. All right, and see, now things will fit inside. A gift card, nothing too big, but you know, a candy cane and a gift card or a coffee thin and a gift card, something like that. All right, we're going to punch a hole here. Punch a hole here, Krispy Kreme treats. Yes, I know. Um, and I'm seeing them everywhere. First, I couldn't find them. Now I see them everywhere. Big Lots has the, the those little chocolates. Um, and I, I actually found yesterday, I had to go to Walmart really quickly. Um, and I ran down the coffee aisle just to see what they had um, as far as treats go. And they actually had a different brand of these thins, these coffee thins, 
and they were cheaper than the Krispy Kreme ones, but they didn't have a whole lot of them. They were just like a little, a little set aside. Um, and they didn't have that little red, I like the red stripe on these because then they match. Those were like a cranberry color. Okay, so I taken the twine and I've gone through like that. It's not really holding it together, but it's cute and it looks like it does, it did. All right, this time we're going to stamp the cup, the large tall cup again, but we're gonna color it in with the blends. I need to, I need to clean this really quickly. When you do um, your blends, you want to make sure that you're using Memento ink. Um, the blends are alcohol based, so you can't use them with alcohol inks. Does that make sense? It needs to be the opposite. So this is a water-based ink. And I'm going to, if I get on the right side, stamp it right in the middle. Probably should have done a little bit lower. Oh, and then look, these little Charlie Brown stripes. I thought they were cute. Right there. And then, of course, the whipped cream again. And we're going to do memento on that also. I like the whipped cream the best on the top. It's so cute. All right, now here are the blends, and if you don't know about the blends yet, they come in a bunch of different colors, I think 12, and you, they come in a dark and a light of that color. And this is actually cherry cobbler, but the light to me is real red, so I'm going to use it as real red. All right, and you have two ends on your marker. You have a brush tip and a nib tip that is firm and I I don't know I said I preferred the nib but I find that I've been using the brush a lot the brush tip a lot so I'm not sure which one I prefer I'm not going to do a whole lot of shading on this but I am just going to take the darker color around the edges and kind of behind this little stripe and up here at the top under the whipped cream and then I'll take my lighter cherry cobbler and pull it in towards the center so it's all blended. And then let's go down here. It's so hard to color, like not with the, you know, I can't stick my head right over it. I want to get real close to it, but I can't because of the camera. And so I, it's very awkward to color like this. Hopefully I don't do it. All right. Well, I spoke too soon. All right, I'm gonna show you here in a second. I did a little boo-boo and I went into the little Charlie Brown stripe. And I'm gonna show you what we have to take care of that. I, a lot of people ask me um, how these compare to our old blendability markers. And I think they're very, very similar, except that um, they come only in two, two shades instead of the three shades. I'm taking light crumb cake and going around the edges of the whipped cream. But the thing that I have really found that I like a lot is the color lifter. Let me grab it. I didn't think I'd need it and I was wrong. All right, so the color lifter removes color. And as I've seen it, you can just go right over it and give it a minute to kind of dissolve. Um, you could also use it to push the color in. That's what they used to say. But this time they're saying, just go over it several times and it will remove that ink. And I didn't think they worked last time we had when we had blendabilities, but this time they work. They actually do what they're supposed to do. Okay, so we've got that. Now here's one of these um, foil, snowflakes. I always have to think. They look like leaves to me. Foil snowflakes. And this is a silver one. They come in gold and silver. I'm going to, I cut one in half. I'm going to put that right there. Now I have cut this ahead of time. Look how cute this is. Do you guys know what this is from? This is a stitched heart, a tiny stitched heart that is in the stocking framelit set. And I just discovered it and now I'm obsessed with it and I have to use it all the time. It's so cute. So I'm going to put that over to the side a little bit and then we're going to get that enjoy out again. And I have a teeny tiny little scrap of paper and I'm going to stamp it on there. What I would normally do is stamp this and then cut it out around the words. But because it's red ink, I feel like I always smear it. So I thought, you know, what? I'm just going to cut 
this ahead of time. That way I don't have to handle it too, too much. All right, there's a mini dimensional and I'm gonna stick that right there. All right, I did it, no smearing. All right, and then that's it, what is that? Did I just do that all oh, with a blend? Okay, I'm gonna have to add something there, some kind of sparkle or something. Mistakes are just an excuse to embellish, right? I was gonna use that. I'm still gonna use it, I'm gonna add something cute there. Maybe a candy cane or something. All right, so right there, and that is it. Simple and super cute. See how that fits in there like that? And there you have it. My kids' teachers always get gift cards, so done and done. I like working ahead. Okay, you guys, so that's it for me this week. Let me show you the projects again. We did two different gift card holders. Wow, look, I've got a lot of gift card holders now. And the card. And if you use this hostess code by the end of Monday, by Monday night or early Tuesday morning, I'll send you all three of them for free. Minimum $30 order. Don't forget that um, we're having the holiday extravaganza starting on Monday. So if you're gonna order, you might wanna wait till then. Um, stamps, I believe there's a selection of stamps that are gonna be 20% off and some other things. Um, so you might want to wait or you might not want to wait. Either way, use the hostess code and I will send you the three make and takes for free. Um, next Friday, I have company in town, so I probably will not be doing a Facebook Live. I'm not going to say I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to say I'm probably not going to do it. Um, I'd like to do it, but we'll see. Um, it's usually crazy town when I have company here. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, um, hop over to my blog. Don't forget to enter in the giveaway and download the project sheets. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys have a great week and have a great Thanksgiving. Bye.